Today, we'll be choosing an artwork for the art show. Ideally, you'll want to choose your most finished artwork that you're the most proud of, and we'll be gluing it to a background, and we want to line it up uh, with the edges as neatly as possible. Depending on what class you are, you might be lining it up and gluing it, or Ms. Byerly or another adult might be lining it up and gluing it. When we are gluing, one of the things we are going to use is liquid glue and applying it with a paintbrush. When you're not using the glue, it can help to just balance the paintbrush on a corner of this glue cup. So let's talk about gluing. Let's imagine that this is a finished artwork and the background I want to glue it onto. Um, obviously this is just an example paper, but we're going to pretend it's a finished artwork. When I am gluing, I want to make sure that I'm putting the glue on the back. I don't want to put it on the artwork side, because then I would only see the back once it gets glued down. So I'm going to find the back, and that's where the glue goes. When I am gluing, I want to put glue near the edge, around the border, and then through the center in an X. I'm not putting it everywhere, because that can make it wrinkly and waste glue. And I'm not putting too little glue, because I want it to have a firm connection. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the tip of my brush. I'm going to hold the paintbrush like I usually would to paint, and smooth the glue out. I really want to try to smooth it down, and I know it's hard to see because it's white glue on white paper. Let me see if I can fix that. All right, so I've got here my pretend finished artwork and my pretend background. Glue goes on the back of this, and it's going to go around the edge and in an X. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So when I'm gluing, what I want to do is get just enough glue on the tip, and I want to smooth it down. I don't want to leave it in a big sticky stripe, and I'm not going exactly up to the edge. I'm leaving just a little bit of buffer. Um, that'll help me do a neater job so the glue doesn't squish out. Depending on what order I call tables, you may need to apply a second layer of glue, but if you've put the right amount on, hopefully that won't be necessary. But I'm not gobbing it on too, where it's really thick here, I'm using the brush to spread it out. Now I've got glue all the way around the edge, and it's spread out. But am I done yet? No. I want to also make an X through the middle. Should I leave the glue like this? No, I should spread it out with the paintbrush. There we go. Then I might call tables. I'll leave my brush in the glue cup. I'll call tables. When I call your table, you're going to carry your artwork very carefully. I'm holding it with two hands so it doesn't slip out. And in the line, I'm going to be super quiet and not talk so I don't get distracted and get glue anywhere that it shouldn't go. Then either Ms. Byerly or another adult will take your artwork, cut a paper to size, line up your artwork in the middle. If I have my artwork like this, is it in the middle? No. If I have it like this, is it in the middle? Should I put it here? No, because it's crooked. I want it to be in the middle and lined up. Is that okay? Yeah, that's pretty good. And then the uh, other adult, or Ms. Byerly, is going to take another paper, put it on top so we can smooth it down. And this is part of the reason we didn't put glue too close to the edges so it doesn't squish out. We want it to have a smooth connection without looking messy. And then this artwork will get your name on the back, the new back, if it doesn't have your name yet and then go to the drying rack. That's our process for gluing our artworks today.